Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, hey, let's uh, once again today talk about something that is really um, a, a, a big issue and um, and a very complex thing. It's difficult to really explain um, easily and the different ways to fix this are very complex. So yesterday I posted the first video, initial video of um, Spectre and of Meltdown, which are two security flaws for processors that were disclosed in, on Wednesday. And now the world is kind of scrambling with all of this. It affects Intel um, chips, see, processors, ARM processors, and AMD processors, but at different levels. So um, for the Meltdown, part did this will affect only intel on almost every processor and arm on high level processors so not every processor specter on the other hand affects amd processors intel processors and arm processors and uh it's it's the most difficult one to fix so basically it in a very simple term, okay, the flaw features something very specific and unique. The meltdown flaw is actually exploited because modern processors try to figure out what set of instructions are coming next, depending on what it's doing. And what happens with that is that if it's right, of course, it has already done part of the job. If it's wrong, it just discards and, you know, does the set of instructions that it needs to do. There's a way to predict this, and this is where the flaw happens. The predictability of that state lets somebody kind of, you know, do bad things and, and of course, steal data. So basically what happens, it, it mostly is a let's steal data it, it won't you know take control of your pc or anything it's just that it can see what's in memory and you know all in the way that how programs and our software can interact with each other and with the processor and how they communicate together the problem that's happening right now is that there are several fixes needed to fix it make sure that it's all right and that's where the problem is. Part of this fix is software driven. So for example, the Windows 10 fix fixes or kind of hardens the system, but it doesn't address the core issue, meaning it could still be exploited even though there's a fix. It's not a 100% thing. To be 100%, you would need to have firmware level uh, updates. So for example, on the latest Intel processors, what's happening is that they can actually kind of send an update that kind of reprograms slightly the CPU, how it works, how the processor executes its commands. On older processors, you can't do that. So it's an update on how that, that will change how the interaction between the different programs, the memory, the CPU all operate together. And this is very complex because what's happening right now is that pretty much everybody is vulnerable. Um, Apple has blat you know, just blatantly said yesterday, yeah, yeah, every, everything we do, iPhones, iPads, Macs, they're all vulnerable. And um, everybody's response is a little, it, you see it's a kind of a panic response with every company. And um, it's a panic response because it's also a response where they're all not totally sure on how exactly they can fix everything. So two types, or actually three types of updates are kind of required if you want to be 100% safe. And what are they? So the first one is at the browser level. All browser manufacturers, so Google with Google Chrome, Mozilla with Firefox, uh, even Microsoft yesterday when it issued the Windows 10 fix addressed the browser issue. So yesterday's Windows 10 fix 
uh, fixed Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 with kind of a way to protect you a little more. It simply um, fix the browser to try to detect and prevent the type of execution that's needed to steal your personal data. But it doesn't address 100% of the problem and that's the thing. The second level, one that AMD favors for example, is um, also in the operating system level, changing the way that there's interaction between the software, between the communication, between everything. Because from them, you know, in, in the most basics um, form, it's it, that is where you need to change things. Um, so Windows, <coughs> the Windows update yesterday also addressed that issue slightly changing the way things are done which is why in some cases it's slowed down because there are things that were um, you know helping the CPU and helping the uh, computer run faster because of uh, of some of the functionalities that now has been either turned off or changed and that's why also it's very complex um, a lot of people are saying, hey, I, I didn't get that update on my machine or, or I have several Windows 10 machines, not all of them got it. Well, that's exactly the thing. That's because they do, because they changed the way that everything operates. It renders some software incompatible with that change. And the software needs to be actually kind of reprogrammed. Or, you know, part of the code needs to be changed in order to make it suddenly compatible. So that's why some people don't have that Windows 10 uh, update yesterday. Because they, they got to wait for that piece of software. And it's not just antivirus. Well, yesterday we were talking about antivirus, which is the main uh, issue here. But it's not just antivirus here. It's, it's some specific software also. Um, so the third thing that will need to be done, and this one addresses more of the Spectre side of the thing. Spectre is a very difficult one to fix because and the best fix to really do, you know, make this work is at the firmware level. That means your computer's, you know, vendor, the, the, the hardware maker, HP, Toshiba, um, Dell, um, wherever, you know, Lenovo, Acer, they'll have to issue a um, firmware update or in some cases a BIOS update to fix it at really the basic level, which is a big issue because most people will never do that update or will never know how to do it or don't, you know, they just don't know. So that issue is very complex because we're in a, yes, there are some fixes available. It doesn't address 100% of the thing, and it makes it really, really complicated right now. So every company is trying to find the best solution. Um, and if you have old PCs running Windows 7 that are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, you'll have some fixes to a certain point. So you'll have a security fix for Windows 7, for example, on Patch Tuesday next week. The problem is, you'll still be vulnerable to some point, but it'll be harder for anyone to try to use the flaws to do something. And the uh, you know, operating system level fix will help with the worst case, which is meltdown. Meltdown is the easy way to really, you know, get all the data they want. The operating system updates will address the meltdown better and not necessarily address the Spectre one much because it has to be done at a much more basic level in firmware. But at least it makes you more secure anyways. And it's a very, very complex thing right now that's happening. Um, once again, I want to stress out that as of today, January 5th, there's no proof that there's been anyone exploiting these flaws. But the problem is, now that it's out in the open, 
it's a question of days before the the toolkits of the bad guys have everything needed to you know exploit these security flaws whatever device you have and you know that's pretty much what i gotta say here and by the way um the best the best thing that i can um that i can say here um everybody you know intel amd and arm um kind of got out in the open with various degrees of openness Intel kind of explained and kind of is a little vague on the things that they do. AMD also is very vague. The only one that's been really, really open and said, here's all the technical details, is ARM. ARM just blatantly said, okay, here's the technical details. Here's what's happening. And that's it. So they were very open. But the other ones were, what the hell, you know. So anyways... What is happening is that we are uh, in a uh, kind of a panic mode pretty much everywhere and everything is affected and I mean uh, servers need to be patched. Uh, every service on the web needs to be patched. Everything. It's just crazy. This is one of the big, 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 you know, at the end of 2018, this will be one of the big story, if not the biggest story. And it will continue to plague us for a while. And there's a lot of devices that are just blatantly going to be exploitable with that flaw. And there's really nothing much that you can do about it. That's crazy also. So we'll keep you updated on this situation and um, keep your devices updated. I mean, every device you own, if there's an update, update, check regularly in the next weeks for updates of every device you've got because that will at least harden your, P, your, your, your device. That means it will be not necessarily 100% fix, but it will be good enough to at least keep you secure to a certain point. Uh, but it's really, really crazy what's happening right now with a lot of that. So, uh, we'll try to post more videos as you know we learn more and we have more information about the different patches available and everything so hope that you uh, of course stay with us on that information if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you so much for following us on this channel